Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from DXM decals. This time it comes in a quite special 130 second scale and it is handy with F14 Tomcat. Obviously it is printed in cartograph and it will give you a chance to copy one of these four marking options. And there are three decal sheets inside, I can see that it should be handy with Revel, Tamiya or Trumpeter kit. And we have a commercial sample here, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied inside. First of all, packaging is standard for this brand. You can see it's a transparent plastic bag and we have a view of one of the decal sheets inside. And also it features this resealable plastic flap and it is really handy because obviously you won't be able to use all of them at once. I really doubt that you'll be building four um, aircraft in one thirty second scale at the same time, but there are some modelers who are doing this stuff, so it's always handy to have a receivable flap in the packaging. Now I'm removing this set out of the plastic bag and we are going to start with the first decal sheet. So here it is, you can take a, let's say, overall look at the decal sheet, let's zoom in a bit. Once again I will remind you that it is printed in cartograph, so you shouldn't be worried about any possible quality issues. Let's zoom in a bit. Here you can see all the symbols, again we do not have any segmentation here, but at least these decals are numbered, so it will be easy to find the necessary symbol, but you have to cut through the whole decal sheet, for example, to get this 100, so maybe it would be worth to plan everything in advance a bit, in a bit more strategical way, so that you get all the necessary symbols first, and then you gradually move to the center of the decal sheet, but it's just one of the approaches, some modelers just don't care about it. Next we continue with the second decal sheet, it's the same size, but here we have mainly writing and stencils, so that's why I will place it like this. Zoom in and we will start checking everything closer, so again printing quality is really impressive. I like what they do in cartograph because all the symbols look sharp and clear, so it's just a matter of careful application on your model. Note that there are also these no step writings, and here by the way you can see comparison with my fingertip, so even though this is a 130 second scale still it will be a let's say there will be some work with tiny symbols so do not underestimate this set and just to prove it here is another third and the last decal sheet this one is dedicated to stencils and you can see their size so they're really small and of course with all these lines they can be replicated with masks it will be a bit more I would say demanding procedure, but some modelers might do this, especially these anti-glare panels. So it's up to you whether you would like to use decals, because in my opinion they should look fine as well, but maybe you would like to add a bit of your own touch in the marking. So next we move to the marking guide, it is a cover printed brochure, it was also serving as a, let's say, cover for the whole set. Next inside we have side profiles for all four marking options. So pay attention to all these tiny numbers. These are actually decals which you have to apply here and there. And next we continue with top and bottom view of this aircraft. Camouflage is quite simple, it's grey colored, standard for F-14, so there is no surprise. And paint numbers are given in Gunze and Humbro designations. So all in all we get a really cool set for F-14 in a big 130 second scale, so if you're planning to do such build, definitely consider this decal sheet. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!